Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing an alternative method of calibrating the DualSense Edge module with the TMR installed. In the previous video, you'll remember that I used a jumper wire in order to send the signal to this point. For this, I'll be using conductive tape in order to do the same thing, but the difference will be I will be able to leave this conductive film inside the uh, casing. Uh, leaving it inside the casing, you'll be able to calibrate it any time that you want to. It won't be a, I need to solder this wire back on and then do the, do the calibration for it. So I want to jump into this. If you didn't see the video on actually installing the, the module to it, check that video out. You can show it and then you can come back to this one and use the tape method instead if you'd like. I'm going to speed through this disassembly because all I really need to do is take off this back case. Alright, now that I have it disassembled, if you remember, we need to take the module and get a jumper from this point right here to this point this this one will send a signal here in order to unlock the calibration so I just need to cut a small enough piece of tape to I'll probably do two pieces one here and then a straight line to here that way we'll have a solid connection and there won't be any bends in the tape all right what you want to do is take this piece of tape that you cut off Cut off a small piece for of it. Small strand. Something wide enough to work with, but thin enough to where it won't touch in the, any other places on the board. Now I have that. I can take the tape off of it and place it on this point. I want to work with the, um, the point that sends the signal first. I'm going to do a pretty deep diagonal right there. That way it doesn't get in contact with any other pins. You don't want that to happen. Alright, now I have that small point. Raise it back up. Get it in there. Raise some tape back up. And I'll take my pliers, cut some of this off. Good old flush cut, flush snip. Take it back just a little bit more because it's still close to that pin. All right, had a straight string. I wanted to make sure that it didn't go somewhere it didn't belong. So I'll take one more piece. This one can be a little wider. It won't hurt on it on this necessarily. But I will do the same. I'll cut off a little piece. I'll just lay that one right across it. Let it send the signal across. Come 
back in with my wire snipper. Cut that little piece off so it's not in contact with any of this stuff in the center. Definitely does not need to touch those. Make sure I'm clear on the signal. Now you see everything is in contact with what it needs to be in contact and nothing extra. Zoom out a little bit for you. Now I can put it back in its casing. Smart thing to do, put your controller back like it should be. All right, I'll demonstrate it just as I did in the previous video on calibrating. All right, now that I have the module back into the controller, I'll come to the uh, unlocking software and I'll just click unlock module. It'll send a signal. Unlock just like previously when we use the jump wire. Now I can just click calibrate center. Now that I have that, we're going to go over to the DualSense Edge, the well, DualSense calibration website. All right, now that we have the module unlocked we'll start the calibration first thing we'll need to do is connect and choose which controller we're connected to this right here is just a explanation of what's happening where it's sending that that signal to the spot in order to unlock it that we did with the previous software all right first things first to know how good or bad this is to check the circularity just take it around and see it's got a lot of hot spots on the three right here we're going to focus on mainly bringing this axis in that way it can fix these two then bringing this axis in as well in order to work on these two I, I shouldn't have to touch this one much but i'm pretty sure i will just to just to get it because if i mess with this one here that little bit right there is going to go back in and be a light blue all right so let's go to fine tune since it's so bad it won't hurt to take this number down to at least 300. know that much already in order to fine tune it some you can take it stretch it out here and we want to get this dot back to touching the edge of the circle the bottom side See, it's still stretched out there, but I've already taken it down here. So, on these two right here, in order to bring it back in towards the circle, you lower the number. For these two, if you want to bring it back in, you raise the number. So, I'll be going up on this one some to get it back towards the circle. And it's going, and you got to remember that I'm also affecting this quadrant right here too so we'll bring it down here to see that it's changed but i'll keep going up because i know both were pretty bad try to keep it a nice even number let's go 3460 for now check that one that one here that's good so let's save see how far we've gone come in a lot it's not it's not the bright red color that it was so let's come back in some more on this one let's take it to 270 there and 3500 sounds great hit save 
circle, check circularity, and it's come in a lot. All right, I could actually take this one in more and then come over here to fix that one instead of working on that one too much. So let's, let's focus on just this side, bring it up some, stretch it out there, stretch. Remember you go up on this side in order to bring it in. You can see I'm touching the line. It doesn't hurt for the dot to go back into the line. We don't want the top of the dot to be inside the circle. That'll be a bad situation. All right, see that one's good. Let's check it. One spin. Oh yeah, that looks great. Now let's get this one over here. Fine tune it. Bring it down. I'm thinking 430. Should get it. Circularity. Come on. It's probably in quite a bit. Try one more time. Try 400. Save. Check again. Looking even better. Take this in just a little bit. Let's go 20. And that should fix some of this up here. That looks good. All right, let's get that one side down. That's still in. So we'll bring this one down. Let's say 360. Check that. It's still good. That's still good. That's still good. I can actually come in some more on this one. Let's go up to... Uh, 3590. Let's save. Check circularity. Good, 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 great. Got us a 4.77. Just to make sure everything's good, let's try counterclockwise. Good, good, good. That looks great. Just a little small fine tune. 350 and 36. One more test. Good. 431 on that error rate and the clock counterclockwise. Let's get uh, that one and that one. 472 on the clockwise. Well, we're trying to make sure if we don't see any light blue, you don't want to see any of this right here. You do not want to see light blue. All right. Now we're done with that. You can save permanently. Let it do its thing. Click OK. Now we'll go back to the other software. That way we can lock the module back. If you ever need to change anything, you can just go back in. All right, we're back to the uh, unlocking software. We can just go ahead and I'll do a calibrate center again just to make sure everything's good and it's fine. So we just click on calibrate center, let it do its thing. 
All right, it's successful. Now we can lock the module back. And that's it, you just click and exit. Um, I like this method because with my customers, if they ever feel like, hey, this, may, this is something gotten off center or anything like that, um, they can go in and do this themselves. They don't have to worry about sending the controller back to me like with a previous version where you use the wire. I can't leave that in. So they'll be able to do it as they please while also still keeping the casing flush mounted and not causing any problems with the uh, calibration. They'll have this for them at all times. But if you see this, you have any questions, just reach out to me in the comments or any of my social medias that are posted below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I help out anybody that's willing to ask a question. But for now, like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next time.